Hey guys, Molin here, and as you probably know already, most items are going to be buying an account with the expansion, and I quickly want to give you my own thoughts on that, because it's a very controversial topic, you know, a lot of people are against it, but a lot of people are for it, and I just want to show you, or share you my own opinion with a few thoughts behind. Now, a lot of people are like, saying that trading has always been an integral part to the Diablo experience, that trading is really important and so on, but let's think about it. I think that this change is single-handedly one of the best changes of the expansion. That like, in fact, like most of the top level legendaries are going to be buying an account and that if you enchant an item, it's also going to be buying an account. Now, why do I think this is a good change? Now, um, let me explain the current situation. Currently, like when I join a game and I see someone with a really good gear, like let's say I see a top gear preparer with a really, really good score on, really sick ice climbers and so on. Do I respect that guy? Do I look up to him? No! You know what my, what's going on in my head? It's like just, oh, this guy just spent a shitload of money on the rear man action house. Get the gear. This is what's going on in my head. I'm not like respecting him for like being a top gear character. I'm not respecting him for him as a player or as a gamer, but just, I'm just think, I always think that he got that gear through the auction house or through the trading. And that's one thing that's gonna be fixed. Because when all the good items are buying an account, you have to find them. This means you can't have any help from, from like, bots or third party websites or whatever it is. That's another good thing that happens. Like third party websites and bots are gonna be useless because gold won't be worth that much and you can't get items with them. So unless you actually party up with a bot, um, there isn't really much benefit to it. So and this is in my opinion the only like way to really change this. Now the second thing is um, playing self found, which this pretty much like leads to like if everything is by an account, it's pretty much like a simulation of a self found mode. Um, it's really fun, you know? There are many people like who got bored of the game really early, like for example Kriparian, he got bored of Diablo, but he was actually able to extend his fun while playing the game by at least one month, simply with doing one thing, playing cell phone. Playing cell phone like makes or gives you always the chance to like get upgrades and so on, because you don't just get the best gear from other people or from the auction house or from third party websites. You get the best gear yourself and this means um, you can play the game as long as you want. You're always gonna get bad items because if you are the only one getting the drops and items are really rare in Diablo, then eventually, um, you, or then there's always a better item that you can use. And it doesn't even need to be better, it could just be different and just let you play a different build. So, all in all, I think this change is great. Now, a lot of people say, but what if I, for example, find an item from a friend? Well, the first thing is, um, if you play in a group, um, you have two hour window to like trade all those items with group members. This is fantastic! This is fantastic not just because you're able to trade items with group members, but for one reason. It like gives a really strong incentive for group play. Because let's think about this. What's more effective? If you play alone every day and you find gear for like all classes, I mean sure with smart drops you find more for your own, but you still find gear for all classes that would go like to you were disenchanted, which isn't bad either because you're gonna need those crafting materials in the expansion, but still, you're disenchanted. But if you play in a four-man group, let's say for example a barbarian, a crusader, a demon hunter, and a wizard, you can just like exchange all the items that you find. Isn't that cool? Like let's say I'm a barbarian and my girlfriend plays a demon hunter and I find a good bow. I can just give it to her. And if, if she finds like a good weapon for me, she could give it to me. So it's like a win-win situation. Now, this like gives a, is a big incentive for group play, and I think Ultimate in Action RPG is much more fun if you play with other people than if you play it solo. And this is just really, really good change. Now, a lot of people are complaining, now, what I didn't say yet, the negative sides of things. What, for example, if I play, let's say, a farm, a farm, and my girlfriend is at work right now, and I find a really good item for her character, but you know that she's not going to be here in the two hour window or she's not in the party. She, yeah, she needs to be in the party in the first place. So, um, what should I do now? I can't give her the item. Well, the first thing, as I said, is you can disenchant it. Disenchanting is going to be very important. Enchanting material is going to be very important because you're going to need them to enchant your stuff and make it better. But what could Blizzard implement, for example? They haven't like really announced uh, how exactly it's going to work, but for example, what they are considering right now is Okay, what about if you make this change? If you find an item, you have two hours to like trade the item with your party members. But you also have like three days to trade the item on anyone, on any, or to any person that's currently existing on your friends list. So for example, um, if my girlfriend would be on my friends list and she's at work and comes home like five hours later, 
I would be able to trade that item because she was at the game or at my friends list when I found the item. As simple as that. And exactly the same thing you could do with clans. For example, if you are in a 50 people clan, like in Moldran's army or whatever, um, they could make it that, for example, if you find an item, in two days you're able to trade it to anyone of your clan. Um, if those are the best solutions, I don't know. Those are just possibilities. Um, if the trading problem is really a big thing, but I would be fine either way. Like, I would be fine if like, like the system where it's only cell phone and two hour trade to party members, or I would be fine um, if you're able to also trade it to your clan members or friends list. But anything that goes above that, I think is bad because then it usually means Botta's gonna find a place again to make a lot of money. Trading website like D2JSP gonna be very effective again. And the thing, what's the problem with D2JSP? The first problem is, a lot of people spend a lot of um, real money on forum gold and then they use the forum gold um, to get the best item. So it's kind of like pay to win again, isn't it? It's pay to win again. And secondly, a lot of people that just trade items there. Like for example, people like buy on D2JSP underpriced items and then they sell it for a higher price. So they're flipping items. And what's the problem with that? That's exactly the problem Diablo has right now. That the game would be a trading simulation. The only difference, the only difference if like no item is buying on account would be that the trading wouldn't take place uh, or the flipping items and stuff wouldn't take place in the auction houses in game, but on third party websites, which is even worse than what we have right now. So if you remove the auction houses, like the only thing that they can make to make this work is to just also like make sure that third party websites and platforms like eBay don't work anymore. And by making items account bound, this is the solution to everything. And yeah, as I said about the problem with like not being able to trade to your friends, there are some solutions. And on top of that, um, the account band items also incent is provide a big incentive for group play. So overall, I'm a big fan of the change, and I hope some of you guys agree with me because I know there's a lot of people who like dislike it or who are raging. But I think a lot of people are just like trying to find negative things about Diablo and like keep that rage going or whatever. So, um, but yeah, that was for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back.